use my little hair and ponytail and the way that I look right now. It is not hair washing day yet. I'm going to do a fall Instagram day this weekend. So like for pictures and stuff. So I'm not washing my hair yet. I also haven't taken a sip of my coffee yet. Let's try. It's pretty freaking good. I feel like it needs more of something. So what I do now is I mix my two favorite creamers. I mix them with this one because it's so freaking good. I got it for Camp Nocturnal like two weeks ago and I'm still using it. It is the Coffee Mate Brown Butter Chocolate Chip Cookie Creamer. So I do a little bit less of my two creamers and then I add a little bit of this and it literally tastes like chocolate chip cookies. Like this is insane. It is a regular full sugar creamer. So, you know, if that's your thing, go for it. If you wanna be a little bit healthier and a little bit less sugar, I just mix it with my sugar-free stuff. And the toasted marshmallow and nut pods is forever my favorite. I haven't gotten another flavor since I tried this one. Toasted marshmallow is where it's at. Little update, not that anybody cares. I took out my little row of extensions. I would go every eight weeks to get my hair done, which I'm still probably gonna have to go like somewhat often to get my front piece nice and pretty and like the perfect tone and also get my hair the perfect tone but this is all my natural hair so this is without extensions it's gotten longer it's gotten thicker I'm going to obviously try to grow it out but for now I do have clip-in extensions because obviously my hair is not gonna grow that fast and I really want long hair again kind of like or at least just to have fun and like for pictures and for going out my hair is like so healthy now like it's actually like blowing my mind those ends are thick I don't know if you guys remember like back in the day when I was bleaching my hair really bad and I was like platinum blonde I was blonde for years my hair was really, really unhealthy because my hair just does not handle bleach well. So to have it be my regular color and like growing and healthy and thicker is so nice. But I am loving my clip-in extensions right now. I love fall content. I love fall. I feel like I've been romanticizing my mornings and stuff like extra because the weather actually in California is very fall-like. It's probably going to be a pretty cold winter too. So I'm really excited. Like I'm a homebody regardless. So cold weather just makes me want to stay in and snuggle even more with Cali and stuff like I love it I have no complaints but it's just the morning I am trying to get back into daily vlogging my life I will always be vlogging festivals and stuff it's like my favorite thing ever but you know I'm not going to a crazy amount of festivals and I don't really want to vlog festivals I've recently vlogged I'll keep the rave vlogs coming but I want to make it for like new experiences and just take like a little break off of filming the regular festivals even if I still go just because you guys I keep doing it you guys have seen it so much yeah we're kind of taking like a rave hiatus we might just chill for a minute and like it feels really good and I'm about to turn 28 and you can rave to the grave baby rave as long as you want to go to festivals but truly my body is just a little bit tired I want to go for people on the lineup that I'm like really excited about and not just like go to go and like party because I don't want to spend that kind of money I don't want to like party too hard and like hurt my body <laughs> like I really I am I'm getting older at the end of the day I can't handle everything like I was 21 you know even though I am probably the healthiest I've ever been at this age 27 I feel like I do want to chill on the partying a little bit I just feel like I'm ready to be even healthier with the way that I party and stuff so but life has been really really good and I just I miss this so much I miss vlogging I miss just like showing you guys my regular life and while I'm a youtuber that will probably never be perfectly consistent ever again I will have my moments where I'm motivated and I'm trying and that's right now it's a beautiful morning the clouds are out the blue sky is out I wasn't always like a super fall girl I really love summer and stuff and now I'm like Oof, give me the fall I don't want the sun to touch my skin Give me the cold. I'm gonna stay inside. I'll drink hot coffee once it gets colder because I am so obsessed with my ice Life is so much more fun when you romanticize things I have like the autumn fall aesthetic kind of videos always going or I have like fall playlists Gilmore girls playlist things like that. We got mrs. May over here. We have candles going We have my breakfast which is oatmeal I put like really healthy chocolate chips in here and it kind of made it like a chocolate oatmeal and I'm kind of here for it. I'm just letting it settle so like the juice kind of gets into the oats and stuff. I already drank my iced coffee, so I have water right here. This is beautiful. I got this from Emily's wedding, like as being her bridesmaid. So she gave us like the most prettiest bridesmaid gift baskets and stuff. This smells amazing. And it says intention, Palo Santo and time. 
love it. Got this one going. My mom gave me this for my birthday because it has an O on it. And yeah, I did a lot of cleaning this morning. Plants are watered. I washed dishes so they are drying right now. We are just chilling on this beautiful autumn morning. It is like two days since the start of fall and I'm just getting in to the vibe of things. It was super foggy out here this morning and beautiful. I love me some fog and gloom. Give me all the moody weather. It's making me so happy. I'm probably gonna change this to something more fall-esque. This was very summer vibes. I had this abundance mindset little drawing up all summer, but I need to change this to something more fall-like. So I'll have to see what I'm gonna do with that. So this is blue apron dinner number like five? I don't even know, six. six. It's a salmon with like a caper sauce or something. So this is the thing that we get with it. So it's lemon, caper, salmon, and orzo. Delicious, look at this. It was pretty easy to make too. It wasn't super hard or anything. And Seb does most of it as per usual, but I help a little bit. Every dinner is one of the best dinners I've ever had in my entire life. I love you. Seb and I are off to do some content today, some fall girl content. And then I think we're gonna go walk around Orange and get some coffee or something. We are going to serve fall girl today. I had a lot of fun this summer dressing up, but my true style and like my best style comes out in the fall. But fall is just when I thrive. I try to spruce it up and be girly, but like I feel like I try to be girly. I'm like, I'm just more basic. I like neutrals, I like black. Yeah, I love fall fashion. It's literally my favorite. So Seb is gonna get some cute outfit pics of me today we'll see how they turn out it's not like the greatest weather in the world but i feel like it's gonna give even more fall because it's like cloudy and i think it's supposed to like rain for an hour i don't know anyways gotta get out there because the lighting's really good i don't want it to get like super dark and gross and then be trying to take cute instagram pics so we'll see how this goes today i'll take you guys along with us i just have to do my extensions curl my hair change my outfit and grab my other outfits we're gonna do two looks it's just what you gotta do, especially when you don't live there. You just gotta bring two looks sometimes. And a few days after this, next week, I'm going to coffee with Kayla and we're gonna do the same thing, but I'm just gonna do one outfit and we're gonna get coffee. <laughs> Is that what you said? We're gonna feast. What are we gonna make or eat? Well, we got cupcakes to make later. That's true, we do have blue apron cupcakes. Lemon custard and what is it? Marzipone or something? Mar Mar I don't even know. No. Mascarpone? Mar Mascarpone Mar cheese, I think, or something. <laughs> like I kind of miss living here, but I love where we live now. I guess we didn't live here. I like downtown orange. Ball girl aesthetic, done. It is 4.31 p.m. and I really, really want a coffee. I really want my Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew with one pump of toffee nut and one pump of sugar-free, I think, something like that. But it's so good and I get like a grande. Sometimes you just need some real sugar, okay? But yeah, we were about to go home. It was very successful. Look where we have landed on this fall day. We are at Starbucks. I wanna go get, I think I saw something on TikTok and it was like witch's brew wine. I think it's at Trader Joe's. I don't think we're gonna make the drive down to Trader Joe's, but I'm sad. I wanted to get some for like our good delicious fall meals we're making. Also discovered I love squash. Well, we like it better than we thought we did. I want witch's brew wine. So next time you're at Trader Joe's, if you see that, go get yourself some for the fall Halloween season. So what I get lately at Starbucks is a grande pumpkin cream cold brew with no vanilla and then for the syrups you add one sugar-free vanilla and two toffee nut and then a splash of almond milk. It's perfect. It's literally the perfect fall drink. It's nutty, it's pumpkin-y, it's delicious and like a grande is all you need because it's a little sweeter than the ones that I usually get. Yeah, I'm just very, very excited for this. It's literally 4.38 p.m. and we're going for it. We're out of Blue Apron dinners so we have one breakfast for tomorrow, and then we have cupcakes we're gonna make tonight, and then we're gonna have nothing Monday, but that's okay, and then Tuesday, our next order comes. So, freaking love Blue Apron. Can I get a, a puppuccino as well? Yeah. 
Are you okay? Cinnamon just went straight back into my throat and attacked me. That was literally the cinnamon towel. I'm not kidding. So literally go try this and then comment down below if you liked it. The next day. Look at this girl in her handkerchief. I'm actually gonna cry. Do you love it? She actually really likes it and she's like dealing with it. I feel like usually she does not like stuff. Imagine Callie in these cute little clips. Like I would die. They're not even clips actually. They're like little hair ties. So this is from my friend Nancy who did my eyelashes a long time ago and she just started a puppy brand. A dog brand I guess I should say. So she sent Callie over some stuff to try and Callie is over there eating it right now. She just took off her handkerchief <laughs> or maybe it fell off. I didn't tie it very good, but she's currently eating. Where'd it go? Did you already eat it? <gasps> Is it already gone, Mrs. May? Mrs. May, where's your treat? Where did it go? She's looking for it because she eats things so fast and then she starts looking for it. She's like, where the heck did it go? So let me show you this little handkerchief it is so cute. It has little suns and moons and rainbows and she was just wearing that. I have pictures of her in it. So I'm going to definitely be posting those on my Instagram story. Okay, should we give her another one? This is a test if Callie was gonna like this and she's obsessed. So yeah, if you guys wanna check up her Instagram, it's at pauseupusa. And you guys can also go to her website, pauseupusa.com. So check her out, support small, support small businesses. Callie loves everything that she got. If I ever don't know where Callie is, she's probably in her little house. This is called Callie's condo. <laughs> and we leave it open for her so she can go in and out as she pleases. And we put a blankie in there and we put her toy in there and she sleeps on it. Thank you.